Quick update on house projects. HVAC work is in progress. This is the attic. New air handler is gonna go against this side wall. I gotta shim up the joists, build a platform. Basement is equally blown up. Old furnace is removed. Here's the new handler platform filter box. Here's where the old compressors were. They're gone. Those two boxes have come off. New units will go here. One right here, one here. This will be a future deck. And the garden actually went in. Lastly, I got work done on the chimney. Pulled out the faces of old bricks. I couldn't get the full bricks, so I just pulled out like an inch. Basically did veneers. New veneers, repointed, repainted the access hatches. We'll see how she holds up. We have a bit of a backlog, so we'll see how far we get. This is being buffed, maybe assembly, but definitely buffing and edges today. This is getting a new head, repress. This gets taken apart, cleaned, bearing edges recut, new head, maybe new rope, pressed. We don't have the head. This needs to get powder coated and assembled. This needs scuff sanding for another coat of spray. Booth needs to be cleaned quick. These two need wet sanding. I think these are okay. And redoing some inlays on the Rogers kick. It's a full day. Ceiling wasn't bad. I scraped all the nubbins off the wall. That's what all this crap is. I thought this overspray would be powder and come up, but it's pretty much fused with the floor, so it is what it is. Taking a break from wet sanding. Got the Rogers kick back out. These were the crusty inlays we put on that never looked good in the beginning. They were cupping, cracked in a few places. They're lifting. Uh, we didn't like them. So Bill reached out to the customer, told him, hey, we'll swap these on our dime. Well, you pay for materials. We'll, we'll eat the labor because they look they like They just poop. look terrible. The rest of the drum set, like the kick turned out really nice, albeit, I mean, weird hardware, but, but it looks really nice. And the toms turned out great. And these hoops, like, they look great, except this wrap is just horrible. So, so we're doing the right thing. We're, we're doing, doing the right thing. thing. Gonna throw this uh, black sparkle on there and vast improvement. Gotta get some VHB in there. Ooh. Crusty old crap. The other one broke every five inches. This one's peeling pretty good. Still, pota still potato chipped and discolored. It's like my grandma's toenails. <laughs> it paints a very vivid and specific image. Wow, the VHB's coming off this one better too. Ooh, rain, baby. These are taped up and ready to go. Instead of putting the tape in the channel, I opted to put the tape on the back of the wrap. 
That way if it veers off a little bit, you're not leaving adhesive to collect dust. Might be the right move, I don't know. This would be a lot easier if I didn't insist on having blind holes for the bad screws. I just bolted them on like a normal person. But it just looks so much cooler when there's no holes in the inside of the shell. For the badge. Maybe we should get really small, classy looking T-nuts for the inside. And then just trim our screws so they don't pop through. That's, that's a pretty cool idea. Real small, yeah, either T-nuts or threaded inserts or something. Yeah. And I got the head swapped on this one. Kangaroo head. Lace back up. Needs to be pressed, tied off, drag rope. Later we'll look at the new brocade that I picked up a couple weeks ago. And Bill has a method of where he puts the seams of these inlays to hide them below claws. So I figured it'd be worth filming. Quarter inch of paint on these damn things by the time I'm done. Whoever fixed this hoop made it way worse. There's chunks of glue in the way of this thing going back together properly. Oh, they actually did put glue in. Yeah, a tiny bit. And then staples. Yeah, awesome. Like a little bit of glue kind of just at the top and bottom and then stapled it together like just with a staple gun, literally. And now there's like little bits of dried glue that are completely in the way of this thing closing up. And yeah. The die job and finish job on it is also abysmal. Yeah, this... But making new hoops is not a financial option in this case. Yeah. And I mean like I'm going to spend another five minutes on this and then wherever it's at then I'm going to glue it and clamp it and it'll be a million times better than it was. But This is a used drum. It was part of a trade-in towards new drums Yeah. and had an inquiry of someone asking for resources on cheaper bass drums or if we had any used bass drums and it just so happened that Bill had this in the loft so offered it to the guy. Showing him all the known issues with it so no funny business. Yeah I told him I was like you know you can have it as is for super cheap or for a little more money I will you know put an hour into it and make a bunch of things better. Uh, it's a very, very poorly made drum, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, that, can, that can be made better and have it sound better and look better. And so, yeah, uh, so he was like, yeah, you know, put some time into it, put new heads on it. That all sounds great. So fix the hoop, what I'm doing. clean it up, cut new bearing edges, new rope, out the door. Yep. All right, I think it's pretty good. I just got to get... See if we have any 22 inch clamping calls, and if not, I'll just make one real quick. I'll get the stapler. <laughs> okay, that's at least as round as round as it was before it broke. So I'm gonna call that a win. Throw another clamp on there. See if this little flap can get glued down in the process, and then uh, yeah, let it sit. I'd like to throw this on the buffing wheel, but. This paint is the top layer and we don't want to take it off. We don't really know why, but we just feel we should leave it. Yeah, don't know who that person is, but somebody cared enough to do that, I think it should stay. If the next owner 
wants to do something differently, then that's up to him, but I'm going to leave it be. Okay, now that I've successfully Tom Sawyer Bill into doing this job, he's gonna tell us about it. So to put wrap on these, um, you can't get one strip long enough because the wrap doesn't come in long enough dimension, so you have to have a patch. Uh, I like to have the seams both be covered by claws because why not? Um, so I like to have the, the small piece go on the bottom and then the large piece across the top with the large piece overlapping the small piece. So I know that the large piece can go all the way around, um, but it'll be just short of, um, just short of, of coming to two adjacent lugs. So the seams are gonna have to be like, like three lugs apart. So I'm gonna, figure out where that is, trim the, the patch that goes on the bottom, put that on, and then put the top over and trim it. So, I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna use this lug, and this lug. Right here. So I gotta cut a piece of this, there with a little bit for overlap. Yeah, how much overrun do you do on each side? I mean, I kind of like to have about an inch of overlap. Because they only sent us three strips, so we have to get both of our patches out of that one. Yeah, so so it, make sure you don't screw yourself in think, that way. I think we've got plenty, because I need, I need this much for the patch, and yep. you know, so I think we're good. All right, so I think I'll cut the patch about two inches longer than it needs to be, and then um, have the top seams land right on the, the center of where the look of where the claws will be. This plus two inches. You know, give or take. This isn't the most super exact thing ever. Right there. Pencil to pencil plus a bales. Yeah. Yeah, that. Measure once, cut once, reorder. <laughs> yeah. Order more stock. VHB, baby. It's good stuff. Oh, didn't keep that crusty nonsense from peeling up. Yeah, that stuff was cursed. That's the only logical explanation. Now, if my math's correct, which it probably isn't, because I damn near failed Algebra 2, <laughs> you will trim. You'll still have some trimming on the long piece? Yeah. Yeah, let me grab a spring clamp just to... Sometimes when making hoops, um, where I'm like cutting the inlay channel, I'll, uh, I'll cut the channel like twice as deep for like two inches or so around where I know the seams are going to be so that the seam doesn't sit so proud, um, which works pretty well. I, I haven't come up with a way to do that that I really like, but when I've done it, yeah, because you can't really, right. you can't get a gla gradual taper. You get like a step. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but I haven't figured out a good way to do it. Um, so it kind of, I don't know. It's better than this, but um, I don't know if anybody has any ideas. But this is a vintage hoop, and I don't want to go getting in there and cutting more stuff, and so we're just going to do it the old school way on this. So that is... You get one of them fancy pants router lifts so you can adjust the height with a pedal. Oof, that would be awesome. They ain't cheap. I'm sure that that is accurate. Hit it, Maverick. The <laughs> thing that I always forget to do when I do this is to take off the, the protective film. Oh, for the overlap patch part, and then I put the next piece on right on top of the film, and then I got to deal with like trying to 
excavate that from. I thought he was going to go with the silver inlay. He went with black. Yeah, yeah, he thought it would be cool because it would tie in with the other two toms, which I actually think is a pretty cool idea. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, the silver was a nice contrast and it looked really, really cool with this glitter, but since the other two toms are, are black glitter, I, I think it was, I think it was a good call. I think this is going to look cool when the whole drum sets together. And what are the odds it'll be too short when he gets to the other side? Um, I mean, I wouldn't bet against it. Uh, it's not like I have not made that mistake before. Here it comes. It's like the wheel price is right. Yeah. It's finally coming the around. Truth. Yeah. Woo! Of course, he's got another one. I finished polishing my turret over here. Okay, this old girl's cleaned up. I did a really light sanding with 800 grit to get all the nibblies off. Wiped her down, sanded the inside, all that glue run out. We'll let that sit overnight. The Rogers kick new inlays done. Matching toms. Well, somewhat matching toms made to go with it. Matching ish. Matching ish. Man, it looks so much better. These two, all buffed out, ready to go, unless nice. Bill thinks they suck and wants to hit them again. This one got pressed, roped, drag rope going on, feet go on, and she'll be ready to go She's out got the door. A sweet uh, kangaroo head from Steel. Kangaroo head, thanks, Steel. And then once the head shows up for this, she can be put together. Did not make the desired goal of Memorial Day, unfortunately, but. Yeah, I mean, I offered to the client, well, it's just, we, we could have. Like, we could have finished that tonight and had it ready ready to pick up and play tomorrow. Um, but well, the, the kangaroo skin head didn't show up in time, and I offered to the client to just put a synthetic head batter head on so he could use it for this parade on Monday uh, if he wants and then if he you know bring it back and I can just swap the head it won't charge him anything you know or anything like that but he's got a bunch of drums and he said nah just wait you know he'll use something else tomorrow he's got a lot of gigs this summer so still gonna be plenty of use so I'm kind of bummed that we didn't we didn't hit the deadline on that but you know it's not it's not it's not a big deal we didn't get to this one today but soon yep. let's look at some Fabric. Ooh. So here's the old stock. We still got some blue, green, orange, mint green, purple. Here's the new fabrics I picked up. A nice blue with a dragon motif. Same motif in, I guess you'd call it goldish. Yes. It's cool with these fabrics, like there's a couple of them like I'm not really sure what color it is, like it's different depending on what angle you look at it. It's like silvery, gold, blue, gray, I don't know, but it looks sweet. It's a very deep purple with a flower motif, and once that's in a, a piccolo stripe, I think it'll look really cool. Another pink. I'm a sucker for the pink and we were running out. Yep. Let's we'll see. And yeah, this, this is still my sweet favorite. orange. Yeah, it's another one that looks different, like a different color depending on what angle you look at it. All right, these are gonna be cool. Yeah. We'll see how many we can pop out. We're just gonna order shell stock, as much shell stock as uh, the credit card to handle, and then yep. we'll just <laughs> we'll just mill and wrap. The only limiting factor will be throw-off availability. Yeah, how many throw-offs we can get, really? 
All right, that's a wrap. Shutting down. Good progress. Monday's a holiday. I'm not sure if my HVAC guy is coming. If he's not, and I've actually completed my attic work, and if Bill's actually working that day, then maybe we'll be back. Or maybe we won't. We'll find out. <laughs>